hello everybody welcome back 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 to my channel my name is destiny and today is part two part two of my what's in my stash series so today we're going to be talking about all the deep conditioners that i have this is my most populous uh category i love deep conditioners and i have way too many <laughs> this is why i don't need to buy anything for black friday but <laughs> i already did and I am okay um I'm gonna try not to be too chatty so let's get right into it so first here I have honey's handmade bentonite and sea clay deep conditioning mask haven't tried her yet but I'm looking forward to it <laughs> um I have honey's handmade pumpkin and cocoa and chocolate deep conditioning mask <sighs> haven't tried that one yet that I'm looking forward to it. I have the pumpkin spice and toffee cognac hair mask. You guessed it, haven't tried it, but I'm looking forward to it. Okay, <laughs> the honey and hibiscus conditioning mask, um, the camu honey sandme camu camu olive and honey Caribbean coconut deep conditioning mask. Um, have the Mick Melba's mixed greens deep conditioning mask. Oh, I tried this one though. The Honey Healthy Hydration Hair Mask. Now, I've tried this one before, but the one I had before this was soupy. And this one is a completely different texture. This is creamy. So, y'all know Honey's may be having a consistency issue sometimes. I'm just saying. <laughs> I have the Honey's Handmade Peppermint, Peppermint Deep Penetrating Hair Mask. Don't, don't come for me. I know I have an addiction. I know I have a problem. I'm working on it. But, you know, I, I, honestly, I'll be using my products though. Like, my hair has been up for three weeks, but my empties bag is almost halfway full. So, I'm not wasting my money. <laughs> I have the... Honey's Handmade Elderberry and Black Sea Babasu Growth Enriched Hair Mask as well. Next, I have the Annabelle's Perfect Blend Extreme Hydration Conditioning Mask. You see I ain't used that yet. Um, I have the Peach Hibiscus Conditioning Mask. Then I have the Annabelle's Perfect Blend Shabby Deep Conditioner. I have the She Scented Agave Plum Nectar and Sunflower Seed Oil, Plum Nectar and Agave Moisture Rich Hair Mail Deep Conditioning Treatment. It's getting embarrassing that I haven't tried it, but if you haven't seen the video, I probably haven't tried it, okay? <laughs> let's just, let's just say that. I have the She Scented Mar Marula, Ma Marula Mallow Miracle Melt Mask. I have the Avocado Moisture Max Mask from She Scented. I have the Restore and Repair Hair Mask from She Scented. I have the Nature's Little Secret Milk Strengthening Deep Conditioner. The Natural Grow Indian Rose Clay Mask. I have the Natural Grow Aloe and Avocado Mask. I have the Natural Grow Slippery Elm and Cinnamon Herbal Infused Deep Conditioner. Not a fan of this one. I only tried it once, but yeah, not a fan of this one. <laughs> I have a video on that one, by the way. Oh, by the way. If I've ha if I have a video that I've used where I've used any of these before, I'll go ahead and link it in the cards or in the description box. If you want to know my in-depth feelings about it, just check the description box. I have the Coils in Paradise Cocoa Biscuits Deep Conditioner. Now this one's almost gone, but I love it so much that I'm trying to savor it. I don't even think this is enough to do like a full use, but I'm really trying to savor this. Like, I love this deep conditioner. It just balances my, ooh, it just balances my hair perfectly. 
I have the Crisis Control Ayurvedic Deep Conditioner. I have the Main Choice Heavenly Halo Herbal Hair Tonic and Soy Milk Deep Hydration Mask. You can see that. I have the Mayo Mangango Oil Hydrating Conditioner. I have the Indian, the um, Indian Healing Clay, the Bentonite Clay. I've only used this on my face actually. It makes a good face mask, so we'll see how I do with the hair mask. I have the Curl of Essence Moroccan Red Clay Hair Repair Conditioning Mask. Can you see it? Okay, there we go. I have the Curl of Essence Moringa and Bringraj Hair Growth Treatment. The Product Junkie Naturals Rosemary Matcha Green Tea Deep Conditioner. I'm excited to try this one. Should be soon. Should be. <laughs> um, I have the Aunt Jackie's In Control Moisturizing and Softening Deep Conditioner. I know a lot of people don't like this, but I like this. I've obviously used it a few times, but this actually really softens your hair. I think it does have a silicone. A lot of Aunt Jackie's products do have a silicone, so if you're not into that, this ain't for you. But it actually does soften my hair up. I have the Camille Rose Algae Deep Conditioning Mask, Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask. This one's fairly new. It smells like sugar, buttercream. I have the Honey Sandman Coconut Water Ultimate Hydration Hair Mask, but this one. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if you can see like those little sediments in there. Like, let me see. I don't know if that's gonna like coming up. I think this one might have went bad though because it kind of smells funny. And like I said, it's got those little sediments. I don't know if you can see it, but it for sure has like some weird ness going on in it so i might throw this one away i definitely have had this one for a year though definitely more like five months maybe like what's this month it's october yeah definitely haven't had it for a year because i probably got it in like may april so it's probably been like six months honestly but this has had some sediments in there for a while now and the only reason i hadn't thrown it away before was because i didn't know if those little balls were in there initially or if those just kind of formed and i might have to ask somebody else in my household to, to distinct to them because it does smell like coconut but it's got like a musty after type of odor <laughs> so i don't know about that one um I have the Curl of Sun's Ayurvedic Deep Mud Treatment Mask. I recorded a video on this, but my allergies have messed me up and I look like I'm finna just, it's bad. I don't wanna go out like that. So I might re-record the video since I do have one more use of this. Cause this is pretty good. I'll just let you know, this is pretty good. But yeah, girl, my allergies, my eyes are swollen. I look high. Cause it was a mess um so i don't think i'm gonna upload that video um i have the crowns and contours caribbean coils brazilian deep treatment i need to retry this one i have a video on it but i have to confirm my thoughts on it <laughs> oh i have the camille rose beretti nectar repair cholesterol tre treatment i have the neem and henna hair thickening deep conditioner I let my mom use this one, um, so I don't really know how it works, but I'm gonna do a video on it. I have the Pride Junkie Naturals Rice Water Wet Dream Deep Conditioner. I also let my mom use this one, so I don't know how it works, but it looks pretty concentrated because I was very generous because I put it in her hair um, and there's still a lot left. So I like that. I'll do a review on this one too. I have the Main Crush Fairy Tale Deep Conditioner. This one's pretty good. I do feel strengthening effects from it, but it's pretty good. I have one more use of this. 
this is like some of the stuff that I need to just go ahead and use up in my stash. And I have the Curl of Assange Banana Moisture Boost Deep Conditioner. I like this one. I don't necessarily care for the application of it, but the effects are, they're worth it. It hasn't went bad yet. I'm glad these Curl of Assange products haven't went bad yet. I probably should actually put them in a the refrigerator, but they haven't went bad yet for me. I have the Annabelle's Perfect Blend Garlic Conditioner. I really like this one. I think it is pretty good. Last two, well, I have two each of these. The Honey's Handmade Sea Moss Maca and Bamboo Healthy Hair Growth Mask. And then I have the Hawaiian Alay Red Salt Balancing Deep Conditioner. And then the Hawaiian Alay Red Salt Balancing Deep Conditioner. So I think I did pretty good on time actually. That is my collection of deep conditioners. I know I have a lot that I haven't tried, but I have a plan. I'm a planner, okay? I don't go according to the plan, but I, so, but I have a plan, okay? So I know that it's possible. But, uh, let me know down in the comments, what's in your stash? What are your favorite deep conditioners? And have you tried anything that I haven't tried? Let me know what's good. We gonna test it out either way, but still let me know what's good in the comments. Um, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to ring that notification bell. And um, I hope you guys have a blessed, awesome, amazing week filled with prosperity and peace. Don't forget to subscribe, stay tuned for when my, the third and final video goes up in this little series um, that's going to feature my leave-ins and my stylers. Y'all have a blessed week and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye!